Hello, welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. I am your favorite math teacher, online math teacher, Gakpo Fred Yao. Today we are still taking an episode on solving random questions from WASI in preparation of uh, the final year student for their WASI in August, September. So we have a question on ratio. The 35 colored balls were shared among four teams and said that one team takes all the red balls so the colored are many but all the red balls have been given to a particular team then if the remainder of the balls is being shared to the other teams whereby we have the ratio into which it is shared as four is to three is to two and the smallest share was six meaning the team among the three that had the smallest share had what six balls so our task is to find how many red balls were in the total balls all right let's take the scenario whereby we have 35 balls then we assume that the red balls are 10 Let's assume that the red balls are what? 10. If the red balls are 10, then it means that we have to take away the 10 from the total balls, which is 35, right? So 35 minus 10 will have given us 15. In this case, we know that the red balls are 10. But in this case, we don't know. So we know in... When problem, if you don't know a number, we use a variable. So in this case, so now we know that the 35 ball is total. Since we don't know how many red balls we have, we let that become a variable. So that we will use Y. So in the beginning scenario, we mentioned that the red balls are 10. We take it away from 35 to have the 25 as our uh, remainder. So if you are looking for remainder of the balls, so we need to find remainder is going to be, there are 35 of them, then we are taking away the Y, which is the number of red balls. In the beginning it was 35, then we assume that the red balls are 10. So we take away 10 from 35 to give us 25. So that this is our 25 if we know the value of y. So this is the number that is shared among the remaining three teams in this ratio. So we can say that the remaining amount So the remaining amount or the remaining balls were shared among the three teams in this ratio. So we need to find total ratio which is going to be 4 plus this plus this give us 7 so we have four, 9 so it means that we are going to divide the remaining ball into 9 parts the first team will take 4 parts the second team will take what 3 parts and the next team will take what 2 parts so you can agree that if you divide the ball into 9 parts somebody is taking 4 parts or I say four groups. Someone is taking what three groups. Then someone will take what, only two groups. You can agree that the person taking the two groups take the smallest number of balls. And they are saying that the person taking the smallest number of balls had what? Six. So if we are saying that the ratio corresponding to small is what? This. So if so if the smallest share was six then we need to know that to find the smallest share the six that they have it implies that it was the smallest ratio which is two out of nine times the total number of balls they are to share 35 minus y that is what resulted to the number six you know in ratio if you want to find the, the amount shared is going to be the ratio corresponding to the group divided by the total ratio times whatever they are to share. So the ratio for smallest will be 2 
out of nine groups times the amount they are to share, that would have given us what? Six. So this becomes a linear equation involving fraction. So we multiply through by the LCM, which is what? Nine. So if I have nine, You see, I put 35 minus y in bracket because they are one term. If you don't put into bracket, you'll be tempted to multiply 9 by this and minus 9y. But because they are just one term, we, it's an answer. Provided we know the y, we'll have gotten the answer right away. So it's not two terms. Alright, so this will cancel. So I'll be having 235y. I think this is what? 54. If that is the case, we have to expand this bracket. This will give us double of that to be 70. So 70 minus 2y equals to 54. Attention on y. So we send a y and bring 35. So 70 minus 54 equals to 2y. Negative 2y become positive because of the equal sign. Positive 54 becomes what? Negative 54 because of the equal sign. So with the subtraction, if I have this, I think 16 will give me 17. If I add 16 to it, so it means I have 16 equals to 2y. Let me just cut it short over 2 over 2. So y is just what? 8. So we can just say that therefore the number of red balls is what? 8. Or therefore there are 8 red balls in the colored balls. So you can see it's very very easy to find provided we have the principles of our ratio. I think I talk about ratio in details in one of my previous videos. You can go in there and follow the procedure through which we can easily identify the ratios, identify the quantity to share, and the, the steps that follow. Thank you. I believe you followed. And if you do that, then share the video with yourself, your colleagues, and those that you think might need it. And God will bless you. Subscribe to the channel, Tazonomi Online Mathematics, on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook, Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Instagram, the same. But on TikTok, say Tazo. That is say underscore Tazo. So that is on TikTok. So that we learn together. Any comment you have, any question you have, you can ask. So that we both will learn together to find the solutions to the anxiety that you have for mathematics. Thank you very much and bye-bye.